Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Trevor Pope. Welcome to another episode of Eat Up Mondays. Pray that you guys had a great weekend. I'm glad that you are here with me on this Monday or whatever day you're listening to this. But I'm glad that you're listening and prayerfully it will help you to get your week started off right. And prayerfully, it will be something that you can eat that will nourish you from now until eternity. But guess what? Not going to do much talking today. Not going to keep you long. The food is set on the table. It's looking good. So without further ado, guys, let's dig in. Listen, I've been talking to you guys a lot about watching whose information you take in, being careful with the information that you take in. And my pastor in the last, I think, month or so has been really going in on Be careful who you are listening to. And just by hearing that message the last few weeks, I just felt the need. I just felt compelled to come back and emphasize this to you guys again. And some of you may be like, man, you just emphasized this two weeks ago. You just said this three weeks ago, four weeks ago, because I've been saying this for the last year or so about watching who we are listening to. But I wanted to bring this to you guys again this Monday. We know that Matthew 24 and 11 says in the end time, many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And guess what? That's been going on. We've we've been seeing people rising up, false prophets, false teachers, just making stuff up, stuff that God didn't say. And we see where people have followed them even to their physical death, not only their spiritual death, but also to their physical death. So I wanted to encourage you guys on today. That's why it's so important what we're doing with this Bible reading challenge, just allowing the scriptures to speak to us, getting our information from the word of God. Because I'm telling you, with the way society is, with the way information is, information is everywhere. Billboards, internet, TV, conversations on the job, conversations in the grocery store, like words, words, words. We're always constantly bombarded by words. But the key is what are the words that we are eating and taking in and receiving them as truth? And the only words that we should be receiving are those that confirm what the Lord says. And we're not saying that there aren't things that people talk that are outside of the Bible that cannot be true. We're not talking about that, but we're talking about when information comes our way that is contrary to the word of God, that goes against the word of God. And if we're not careful, will cause us to turn away from God. And this might be something that I may go in on a little deeper in the podcast episode coming up this Thursday, because I think that it is super important guys that we really be careful on who we are listening to. When we think about Eve in the garden, you know, here comes the serpent, you know, and she doesn't discern who's speaking to her through the serpent. So what ends up happening with her? She allows the devil to speak to her through the serpent and to get her off track or get her to believe that there was something that God was not telling her. And if you remember the conversation after she called herself letting the devil know or letting the serpent know what God had instructed them, if you remember what he said, he says, and the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. For God does know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. So what did the, what did the, the devil do through the serpent to her? What we what he always constantly tries to do to us, he always tries to make us feel that God is holding something back from us. There's something that we should have had a long time ago and God is being slothful. He's dragging his feet. He hasn't given it to us. He hasn't told it to us. And therefore, we need to just go ahead and do things on our own. We need to go ahead and grab the bull by the horns on our own. But how many know God's timing is perfect timing. God knows when we need to hear what we need to hear, when we need to have what we need to have. And we know that when God gives it to us in his time, in due time, that's when it's going to be a blessing to us. But what the enemy constantly does is he constantly comes and tries to give us information, tries to speak into our ears and discourage us and make us go against the word of God. That's what it, that's what this thing is all about. 
It's all about going against the word of God for the enemy, because once we begin to go against the word of God, because he cannot just take us out of the Lord's hands. Remember, I talked about that recently because he can't just snatch you out of the Lord's hands. What he has to do is to get you to doubt God, to no longer trust God, you know, and then by not trusting God anymore, you will begin to walk away from God or you will begin to trust somebody else. And for him, he hoped that it's him that you trust. He hopes that it's him who you will now follow and listen to. And we know that when that happens, sometimes, and we, we've read it in the scriptures, the scripture says it is not easy to come back from a backslidden condition. And that's why we thank God for the grace of God, for many of us that have seen that other side, for many of us that was with the Lord and may have went back and God brought us back. Like we thank God for his grace and mercy because it is not easy for somebody to go back to their old lifestyle and then come back from that because the Bible says that when the spirit leaves out of a man, when, when he's gone out of a man, you know, he roams various places and then he says to himself, listen, you know, I'm going to go back to my house. The scripture says he calls it his house. And the scripture says if he comes back and find that individual empty, meaning the spirit of God is not there, he goes back and gets seven more spirits, you know, even worse than him. And they all come and dwell in that person. And now that state is worse than the former state that they were in. So that's why it's so important that we don't allow ourselves to go back to our old lifestyles. That's why it's so important that we guard our ears on who it is that we are listening to. And we saw what happened to Eve. The, the enemy tried to make her think that there was something God was holding back, something God was hiding from her. And then unfortunately that caused her to eat and gave to Adam and he ate and here we are today so i just wanted to encourage you guys please be careful of whose word you are taking as truth be careful of who you are listening to and remember a way that you gauge if a person is speaking truth or not is just to Compare it to the word of God. Put it side by side with the word. If it is contrary to what God has already told you, just like he did with Adam and Eve, they were already given instructions. I don't care how close it sounds to what God has told you, because remember what the serpent did. You know, he came and kind of sparked up a conversation so that he can get to what he really wanted to get to. And he did it in a way as if he was trying to help her. And that's how the enemy comes. He's not going to come all crazy and wild and barking like a dog and acting and talking in a devilish voice. No, he's going to come real subtle. He's going to come in a subtle vessel. He's going to come in a subtle way. And he's going to make you feel as if what God has already told you is not the truth. But how many know we have have to stand on God's word and believe God's word is the truth and nothing but the truth. And if we continue to stand on that, the promises that God has promised us, they will eventually come to pass. It's not in our timing. It's in his timing. So don't allow the enemy to come trick you and make you think that you're missing out on something or there's something that you should have had already that God has not given you because it's been X amount of time. No, just know what God promised is true and in due season, in the right season, in the right time, he will give it to you. Remember, guys, be careful who you are lending your ear to. Be careful who you are listening to because unfortunately it just might be the devil but know that i love you guys and until the next time we share a beautiful spiritual meal together shalom